Alright guys, welcome back to the Isles. I am playing on a new server. It's a uh, Mo Dynasty. That's that's pretty clever. No rules, high AI. Looks like a pretty new server, so I thought I'd check it out. Playing as a new little baby Giga. Got some nice new little colors. I got blue for top if I make it to sub adult. You'll be able to see that. I don't know how great I'll be able to survive. I don't plan on anyone joining us this time. It's probably just going to be me. I'm hoping I can make it with the AI bugs. I'm not sure if any will spawn or what's going to happen, but let's see what what's going to happen here. All I know is we spawned near some water and this water source is... Oh, I know where this is. This is the small lake by Great Lake. So I spawned by Great Lake. That could be a curse, could be a blessing. So I don't need to be here, I need to be at Great Lake. AIs could be spawning near Great Lake. I don't usually see AIs around this place. So let's make our way to Great Lake. I do see AI spawn there quite often. If not, I can move up from Great Lake over to Canyon? Canyon. And AI spawn back there. I don't know how well they're going to be spawning now. Hopefully they do fix the AI bugs pretty soon. I want them to add in, like, the Ava as an AI. That would be amazing. Because it's a big dino. You can eat it, easily eat off of it. But it provides a challenge. Because an Ava can fight. An Ava can hurt some. So, like, let's say you're a hungry juvie, like me, but I'm big. And Ava will put up a fight. That could, that could easily kill me. Oh, I heard a taco. Let's see if we can find this taco. Where are you at, taco? Damn it. Damn it, taco. You had a call while I was talking. Where are you? But as I, was, as I was saying, an Ava could put up a fight. Obviously, if I'm a full adult Giga, full adult Rex, full adult anything, an Ava ain't shit. Oh, back this way. Oh, there's no alt turning on this server. Okay. Oh, well. I don't like alt turn anyways. Oh, I hear it. They're back. Well, fuck me sideways. They're spawning back there. Back where I said they probably wouldn't spawn. Alright, let's see if we can go get one of these guys. There's probably not going to be too much action since six players online, two admins. Uh, but I want to try and grow and just kind of show off the aisles some more. I don't think I ever got a chance to talk about the That sounded behind me. I haven't really got to fucking talk. Why? Why do you fucking call when I start talking? Where are you? I'm just gonna shut up. Maybe I need to keep talking. Where are you? Usually calling like this is not a good idea. So, the reason why I'm calling is AIs will respond Okay, that's this way. AIs will respond to calling. If a herbivore is around AIs and a herbivore two calls, and the AIs will come towards the herbivore and as actually gather around the herbivore. Which is why sometimes you find the AIs in mass herds because one will call, the other will call, and then they call off each other and repeat it and then they slowly start forming this massive clusterfuck. I can hear it. Let's get some stamina. So I have to press H to sit. And I regained stan really fast. Faster than I would walking or trotting. In this, <gasps> There's the taco. There's the little fuck. But so managing your stamina is extremely important in this game. Because without stamina, you can't run. If you can't run, you either can't run away from prey. You can't fight as good because you can't kite around. Or you can't chase down your prey. So, 
managing your stamina is crucial. Managing your ambush as well is crucial. In the bottom left, or bottom right, there's my ambush. My ambush is now gone away. That's what that little, uh, when it kind of goes neon, I guess you could say, with the little arrows, that's ambush. That means you have ambush. Only carnivores can get ambush. So herbivores cannot get that. Wow, this taco gave me a lot of food. All right, I need to remember where this taco is. But, um, so let's crouch. There's ambush. You see that with the two lines? That means I have ambush, right? They buffed the Giga's, the Juvie Giga's ambush because now would be the time the ambush would go away before. And now it just now went away. So it's pretty good. It's better now. The stamina... What was that? I heard something. The stamina used to be really shitty on these things. Very, very shitty. So you, like, would almost never be able to chase anything. So was the ambush. The ambush was slow as fuck. Oh, they're AIs. Oh, it's another taco. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so that's what that was. Fuck that taco. I need water. But so... Fuck, what was I even saying? Oh, that's right. How shitty this thing used to be. This thing is beefy, though. Look at that. So your weight and generally means how much health you have, besides the Rex and Trike, I believe. So far for the survival dinos, the stats I've checked, your weight equals your health. And in order to do damage, it's your bite force, which is this, times parentheses, your weight divided by their weight. So you're, I'm going to take this 1650 and divide it by, let's say, another giga. And let, let's not say another giga. Because if, if you're fighting the same species, same growth, so you're both juvies, you do flat damage to each other. You don't get no buff. So let's say the taco here. Taco had a weight of 50. 50 weight. That divided by that equals some big number. Then I multiply it by my bite force. And that's how much damage I'm doing to that target. Only to that target. Not in general. This only applies to the target you're biting. So if I bit a trike. And I bit an aloe as a full adult giga. I'm going to be doing two different types of damages. So that's how that shit works. But yeah, right now the baby Giga is in a good place. It's pretty beefy. The damage is pretty low. So that part's not great. But so let's go over let's go over this game since we actually have time to talk about this game. So obviously you have your walk. This is my walk. This is pathetic. Never use walk. You should never the first thing you should do if you're just now getting this game. You're just now playing this game. You just spawn in. You're fresh. You don't know what to do. First thing you should always do is press Z. Z is trot. There's my trot. If I press Z again, I walk. Press Z again, I trot. Never should you ever have trot off. The only time you should have trot off was in a very specific situation where you're bleeding out. So how bleeding works is when you're standing still, you take a set amount of bleed. Say you got bit by something and you're bleeding. Standing still will do a set amount of damage. Walking will increase that damage by 0.5. So you take normal 1.5 extra bleed damage. When you're trotting, you take two times bleed damage. When you're sprinting, you take four times bleed damage. So you don't really want to sprint while bleeding unless you have to. Now they changed it. If you sit while you're bleeding, you won't die. I could be tier 3 screen, blood all over my screen, max bleed. As long as I sit down and I don't stand back up, I will not die. So that's a pretty cool change that they did. As there's so many times you get in a fight, you win, but you bleed out and die. Or it gets to the point where you're like, fuck, I have 3 bleed, I'm second screen, I know my dinosaur, I will not survive this 3 bleed. I'm going all in. 
I'm going to try and take the fucker that gave me this, take them down with me, because there's no way I'm going to survive. Now you can be more strategic about it. Now you can be like, it doesn't matter if I'm second screen, three bleed. If I get away from him, I can hide and I can survive. Or if I outplay them, kill them, I can sit down and survive. So that's a great implement to me. I like that. It also means, however, you can't bleed out a target. You can't bite them, let them bleed, keep them moving, and let them just die. You have to go in and bite them again, unless you keep them moving. Like I said, you won't die if you sit down, like so. But if, I, if you make them stand back up, they die. So it's still a good thing. So right now, we're just trying to grow. But let's go over. So I'm in Juvie stage. Let's go over this screen right here. Right now, I'm a Giganotosaurus, or Giganotosaurus, however you want to call it. Juvenile. This means I'm a Juvie stage. There's baby, Juvie, subadult, adult. So as time goes by, I grow, which you can see by pressing escape. Here's my growth. I am point. 544 out of point 0.8. Once I reach point 0.8, I can grow to a subadult. Now, every minute, minute? Pretty sure it's a minute. Every minute in this game, you will grow a set number of ticks. So let's see. I'm at point 0.554. I'm at point 0.544. Damn it. Okay, so here in a minute, it'll grow again. We'll go back to that. But so let's go back to this screen. This, my sex is a male. Age, juvenile, went over that. Mating status, immature, because I'm a baby. Once you reach subadult, a big subadult, you can, as a female, you can lay eggs in. Health report is healthy. Now, this will tell you if you're thirsty, if you're hungry, if you're hurt, if you're seriously hurt, or if you're critically hurt. Those will tell you the different stages of your diet. Kind of a little health report. Like it says, health report. It'll tell you, but this is what you want to see here so this indicator is your bleed this is how much bleed you have and how much damage you're taking per second when you get bit this one is your leg break it used to be over here when you broke your leg say you either a rex bit you or you just got unlucky and walked off the side of a hill and there was a tiny rock that flew you over and you broke your leg this will tell you your leg break the damage and once it's healed this will go away used to be here which was nice, but now it's not. So now you got to actually come back to your screen. This is your stamina pool. These three are the same thing here. But however, these won't show you anything. These just replicate this. I'm at 100 stamina. I'm at 69 food. And I'm at 80% water. Now it doesn't really look like I'm 80% water. That thing looks like I'm like 99% water. But it's not. So don't let your bottom icon fool you. Oh, that's an Oro. Oros give more food. But going back to the main point here. So I'm 68% grown. I'm going to be growing. Here's your nest if you have a nest. And somehow magically you lost your nest. This will tell you where your nest is at. This is your location. So let's say your friend's on the other side of the map. And you're really good at lat long altitude. Figuring all that. Oh, excuse me. You can share this with your teammates and they can find you you can go to your group tab over here I'm not in a group you can create a group when you invite somebody that's the same species as you you can only group with the same species now this is a no rule server so if I find a Rex and me and him are talking in global we can be friends we can be friends dilly dally hunt together do whatever invite him to a discord we can join discord and fuck around together that's good and great I love no rule servers because of that specific aspect. Say, my favorite dinosaur is the Giganotosaurus. I love the Giga. I love everything about the Giga. I have friends who love Rexes. I have friends who love Utahs. Dilos. We can't play together in official servers or other semi realistic, semi realism, full realism, uh, packing servers with rules. I do agree some rules are nice, but this is a dinosaur game where you're just playing as a dinosaur hunting other players. 
I don't think it needs to be that in depth where we're a role playing RPG game. Some people like that. I like that somewhat. I can play as a Shuko Mimus and take this pond and be like, this is my lake because I'm a semi aquatic dinosaur. I live here. You come near my lake. I'm going to hunt you down. Or I play as a Rex. This is my field. This is my hunting ground. I love this field. I'm going to fight off any other Rex that comes by. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. If you like that, great. Go play one of those servers. Me, I like no rules. I don't care. I want to hunt. I want to kill. I want to fight. It doesn't matter if I'm playing by myself and I come across a team of 20 Rexes. Well, I either better get good and kill all 20 or get the hell out of Dodge. And if I can't, well, I'm dead. Start again. Doesn't matter. Death happens in this game. That's the biggest thing people don't understand and why people get so mad. You die. Yes, this takes... I think the Giga takes 6 hours and 40 minutes to grow. I'm pretty sure. In game time. Or, well, real time. So, like, I'm at .557. So I grew a bit in this My Little Rant. So it takes time to grow. So if you press N, you pull on night vision. Let me just get that out of the way. Night vision sucks. It's shit. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Some people, as other people say, cheat, air quotes, by adjusting their screen brightness so that this is not so dark. To them, they see fine. They see just like nighttime, while everyone else only sees this. Which really sucks because, like, I can't see right there. That is just a pitch blanket of darkness. If I take it off, I can see the little rock over there. I can see between the trees. I could see some flowers down there. But it's hella dark. Night vision? Can't see shit. It's all gone. So you gotta rely on your sniff, which is your cue. So, as carnivores, you can walk and sniff. It gives you a short little sniff. You can see footprints. Let me take off my night vision. You can see footprints. You can hunt down dinosaurs, how they came. On the top, you can see this west, south, east, north. When you really get good at this game, those will help you out. You can see lake through... You can see lakes and food through objects. So, obviously, right now, I can't see that lake, but... I know the lake's that way, so that will help me go to that lake. And from that lake, I like when I spawned, I knew what that lake was. I knew where I was. I could figure out where I am on the map. Let's hunt this taco, because I'm kind of getting hungry. But I knew where I was on this map, so that's good. Now, how to track stuff. So if you hold down your queue, you go into this little animation. You can't move. You're sniffing, but I hear footsteps. I can hear footsteps right in front of me. It's a little taco. Pretty sure it's a little taco. Yep, it is. Oh, it juked me. Get back here, you. Get back here. I killed it. Alright, so look, I can see his little footsteps. So with night vision, you can actually see footsteps. You see? I haven't sniffed, so I don't see them. But with night vision, you can actually see little footsteps. Look at that little taco feet. So cute. And now you're delicious. Yum. So that's kind of how you want to hunt. When you walk, the bigger you are, the louder you are. How I heard its footsteps, other people can hear your footsteps. People can hear this little pit, pat, pit, pat. If I crouch, it's quieter. Like, I can hear that Oro. I can hear that taco. People can hear your little pit pats. People can hear when you talk, when you call. That stuff travels. And people can find you, hunt you down by that talking in global. So if I want to chat right here in local, if there was another Giga here, I could talk to that Giga through local. There. 
I just said that in local. So any Giga near me that is in their local chat can read that. Only Gigas. If there was a Rex there, he doesn't hear it. I have no way to talk to that Rex except through global chat. Group, you talk to your group, which you can only group with specific individuals. So other Gigas. So let's say I meet a Giga here. I say, hey man, want to group? Say he says yes. I say, cool. I go down and I find him. Let's say Fix. Let's say Fix is right next to me and he, they're a Giga. I press the plus sign. That invites them to the group. Like that. And I will get a little message here that says Fix was invited to your group. Fix accepted your group. And now we're in group. So let's say another Giga shows up and I'm I'm low on food. And I say, hey, let's kill this Giga. Hey, well, that says I'm not in a group. But only he will see it. The other Giga will not see it. Only if we say it in local or global. But that's how the chatting works. But as you see, when I chat, my Giga F calls. So your F call, I can do that normal. I can spam that shit all I want. That's the voice, or that's the vocal you use when chatting. Now you have four other calls. You have a total of five calls. That was your F. You have your one call, which is a broadcast. That right there. That's my broadcast. That's letting people know I am here. That's, this is a friendly call, is your two call. That's your friendly call. That's like, hey man, I'm cool. I'm friendly. I don't want no trouble. Your three call is your threatening call. Look at that. I throw my hands out a little bit. Let's do it with night vision. That's me saying, back the fuck up, go away, I don't want you here, I'm aggressive as fuck. Four call, that's your scared call, or your threat, or your threatened call. That's your like, oh shit, I'm scared, somebody help me, please help, leave me alone, go away. That's your four call. That's what your four call is used for. Now don't be, conv don't be convinced that, oh, somebody two called me, they want to be friends. They could be baiting you in. They could be trying to get you close enough thinking, oh, he wants to be friends, and then try and get the first bite on you and kill you. Don't believe that. Those calls are specifically for generic use. If there's no global chat or you're not in chatting together or you're trying to contact your friends because of a broadcast, the number one is your loudest call. Your number two is your softest call. Your F call, depending on the dino, could be the softest, but it's usually your medium call. Usually only dinosaurs and your vicinity can hear your Ooh, excuse me. Can hear your F call. Not many other people can. So that's kind of good. So let's say I'm hunting with the Rex. Me and him just have a mutual agreement to play together. Or he's in Discord with me. I'm like, hey man, I'm over here by this rock. If there's a rock here. I don't even know if there's a rock here. I'm over here in this field, next to this bush. He's still by the water. He's like, I don't know where that bush is. I can be like, alright, I'll F call. I F call. He hears it. He knows where to go. Say he was still walking up that hill, and he's way kind of up the hill. He doesn't hear an F call. I can one call. If he hears the one call, great. Now he knows where to go. But usually that means somebody else probably hears that as well. But since there's only 11 people, I'm not too worried about it. Normally when I'm hunting or when I'm playing, I am fucking silent. I do not type. I do not call. I mean, you can see me now. I'm not even in global. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I'm here to hunt, to kill, and survive. I help my people friends survive. I help whoever teamed up with me survive. That's it. I don't like calling. I like to Discord voice chat so other people cannot hear me. Where's this water at? So see? Right there. I didn't know where the water was. I sniffed. I found it. Now I can go to it. So that's a little bit about the game. That's me kind of ranting on wasting everybody's precious time 
drinking water. Oh, look at the beautiful night sky. So there's night, and then there's fucking pitch black, hell darkness night. This is nighttime. This is when the sky is bright. It's nice and beautiful. Stars are out. You can see the aurora lights because for some reason they're here, even though it's not in the North Arctic. Whatever. You can see that it kind of brightens up the place. I can see here. You got little fireflies over there. But you can see. It can get cloudy in a heartbeat. There's no like, oh, here comes some clouds, whatever, whatever. No, it just gets black. You'll see a shit ton of clouds just start appearing, covering the sky, and then it's just pitch black like it was earlier. But, yeah, that's pretty much the Isles. You hunt if you're a carnivore, you kill and eat, you get your fill, you survive. If you're a herbivore, you eat plants, you drink water, and you AFK grow all game until you're an adult and you feel like hunting carnivores. Hardly ever, if you're a herbivore, do you really need to move. Sure, you may run out of food if you're in a place, or if you're very curious and wanting to find, figure out the map, but you don't want to play on a carnivore to have to worry about hunting. Because there's herb food everywhere. There are bushes everywhere. Now, a big thing to know is sniffing does not work, or well, scent does not work in the rain. That is a herbivore's biggest fucking weakness. They cannot sniff. So herbivores have to stand still to sniff regardless. But bushes in this game are so fucking green, they are like one shade brighter than the, a normal bush. They have berries on them. Ooh, little fucking red spots that make them stand out. Fuck no, they don't stand out. Fuck no, they don't stand out. Unless they're out in the middle of the fucking open, those bushes are invisible to everything. What's walking around me? Is it a taco? Okay, it's a taco. That shit does not stand out. A herbivore needs to sniff to find these bushes. If not, it is fucked. And so if you're playing as a herbivore, make sure you are full... 90% of the time, because if not, it's going to rain, and who knows how long this rain is going to last. And that could be the death of you. You may starve to death because of that. So you want to keep on the lookout for bushes and eat up as much as you can. Now, I've played this game a fuck ton. I know a lot of shit about this game. I know how to hunt, I know how to crouch, I know how to ambush, I know how to set traps for players. I've outplayed shit, I've done some great fucking hunts. Back in the day, before I was recording, which I wish I was, we've had wars with players. We've had five Rexes, three Gigas, two Trikes, and three Utahs versus seven Trikes, two Rexes, and a Carno. And we've just gone all out war. There's times we were all Rexes. We were all Gigas. We had five Rexes, four Gigas versus 11 Trikes because it was just a massive Trike herd. And we gathered all our Apex Carnivores and we had a fucking war. That shit was awesome. That's why I love no rule servers because you can have shit like that. On ruled servers where they have pack limits where it's like one Rex and only one and only two Rexes can group together or Rex and Giga can group together or if they implement Spinos into the game only a Rex and Spino only a group of two which is shit to me two Rexes sure in a pack limit group they're strong because they're max they're two but if your pack limits four trikes two Rexes are gonna get their shit wrecked by four trikes Unless those strikes are stupid. Now, to me, I go in thinking everyone is as good as me. I do not think this guy is shit. This person is shit. Unless I fight them and I see that they're shit. Then I'm like, oh, they're shit. I can abuse this. I can do this. 
Now, some dinos are at a disadvantage compared to others. My bite force is getting... My bite force is going up now. Such as... Utahs are fast, but weak. Dilos have good bleed, are faster, can see good at night, but are still weak. An aloe is pretty fast, has some good health, has some good damage, but will usually lose to a rex. One on one. The rex is the strongest damage output in the game. Because of its damage stats. At a fully going rex, its bite force is 1200. So even if it's versus a trike that has a weight mass of 8,000 and the Rex only has 5,800. So it's going to have negative, or not negative, but point zero, or well, not point zero, like point, point something damage multiplied by 1,200, which is still going to be in the 900s area, which is still a fuck ton of damage. I believe it takes... Ah, fuck. What was the math? What was the fucking math? Eight bites. I want to say eight. Eight bites on a Rex to kill a trike. Eleven hits on a trike. Headbutt to kill a Rex. Six stomps to kill a Rex. So the Rex is already at an advantage. Which is pure damage. But the Rex has a 70% bone break chance. Only the Rex has bone break right now. Before, a shit ton of dinosaurs had bone breaks. But now, only the Rex does. But they plan on changing that in the future, so hopefully they do. And they bring back bone break, bone break for all the other dinosaurs. Because that was the shit. The acro. Oh. If you have ever played this game for more than two to three years, you know what I'm talking about. The acro was fucking amazing. On the old map, before this map came out, the old map, oh my gosh, the acro was amazing. The acro was the fastest with ambush. It has the fastest trot. Not the longest stamina, but that went to the spino. Still does. I'm pretty sure. But, oh, the acro had a 30% bone break chance. And your ambush was so fucking fast. And you could turn on a fucking dime. If you had three acros and you found anything solo, that shit was dead. I've taken on Rexes and killed them with just two acros. Back when I was streaming on Twitch, me and Sal killed a trike and a dibble with two acros. Full adult trike. Well, back in the day, there wasn't... Unless you got nested in, you were always adult. It was progression, where you earned points per minute, and then you evolved to the next dinosaur. There was no juvie stage, no sub-adult stage. It was just adult, unless you got nested in. But, oh, that shit was amazing. That shit was fan-fucking-tastic. I wish we could go back. I loved progression. Progression implemented such variety into the game. Right now, guarantee you, half of these kids are trikes, rexes, gigas, maybe dilo, maybe para. That's it. Let's see. Nah, they're just fucking saying bye. Fuck that shit. But with survival, the problem to me is Whatever is best is what people play. Rex is strong. People play Rex. Giga gets a buff. People play Giga. Dilo gets night vision and just gets released. Everybody plays Dilo. Shuko loses no fucking hunger. Has good speed, good damage, good health. Everyone plays Shuko. That's just how this game is. Survival mode. Herbivores, people play trikes, people play paras. Normally, if you see a galley, or you see a dryo, or you see a dibble, they're playing it for either shits or giggles, or they think it's cute. 
they are not playing it because they think it's good. That is not the reason they're playing that dino. But progression, however, oh, progression. You had to start from the bottom. You were an Ava. And if you wanted to make it to Trike, you played Ava. You went to Dibble. You played as a Dibble for, like, fucking five hours. And then you went from Dibble to Trike. And then you were a Trike. But for five hours, you were a Dibble running around. If you wanted to go Anki, you played Ava, Packy, then into the Anki. Such a variety. If you wanted to grow a Rex, boy. You went Velo, Ostro, Utah, Aloe, Rex. Or Aloe, Acro, Rex. Or Aloe, Giga, Rex. If you wanted Giga, same process, but cut out the Rex. You just go from Aloe to Giga. Or from Aloe to Acro, from Acro to Giga. If you wanted to play the Acro, you went from Aloe to Acro. Now... The kicker was, if you wanted to go Spino, that was the fucking challenge. Ooh, Spino was a fucking challenge. Because you had to go Velo, Herrera, Utah. Was it? No, Herrera, Herrera was for Serato and Carno. Nobody fucking plays those shits. You had to go Utah. From Utah, you went Barry. Then from Barry, you went Shuko. And you had to survive as the Shuko for so fucking long. 300 points on like a half server. That's 300 minutes you had to survive as a Shuko. That means you had to feed yourself, you had to kill, you had to hunt, and you had to stay hidden. For 300 minutes to become that juicy, beautiful Spino. I've only done it twice. And then they started getting rid of progression and brought in survival. I don't mind survival. Sitting here growing as a juvie, it's not bad. It fucking sucks, though. When you're not hunting or you don't have a shit ton of players, you're just growing. The thing that really sucks is you can't fight. Unless you find another juvie, unless you find AIs, you really don't. Or if, you, if you're friends with somebody big, you don't really have a chance of hunting and killing something successfully. You're stuck as this baby pathetic bitch for a long fucking time. Even when you make sub, you're playing as this pathetic, half-assed fucking dinosaur. It's like trying to play Pokemon and going to the championship or the Elite Four with a stage one Pokemon. Why? Yeah, sure. You can be a level 100 Squirtle, and you could probably wreck their shit. But let's say you cap that. At level 1, or at a Squirtle can only go to level 25, and that's it. If you don't evolve Squirtle past level 25, it cannot evolve. Or it can't get any more stats past 25. So if you have a level 100 Squirtle with the stats of, with the stats of a level 25 Squirtle... You're going to get your shit wrecked. That's how this game is. I'm a baby Giga. If I go and try and bite an adult Giga, that ain't going to do shit. I have to play as this little fucking baby until I'm an adult. When I'm an adult, that's when shit gets real. That's when shit matters. Sure, you're going to be running and you're going to be finding a fuck ton of babies. Because that's what it is. Everyone's trying to grow. Either they starve to death, die of dehydration, or get killed... Or they fall asleep at their computer while they're AFK growing. That's what happens. But in progression, everything was an adult. You spawn in as a taco. You play for 15 minutes. You just go sit in a bush. Go get yourself some McDonald's. Come back. You spawn in as an adult Ava. You have 30 minutes to survive. You know what could happen in that 30 minutes? A shit ton of stuff. But you know what? You were an adult. You could defend yourself. If a Utah found you, guess what? You could fight that Utah. Now, if a Utah finds me, an adult Utah, I'm fucked. I can't do shit. I can run. I can try and bite. 
I can try and do whatever. But you know what's going to happen? This, this is the exact same thing that would happen. He would hear me. He would see me. I would try and run. He would toy with me. He's faster. And dead. Immediately. Instant death. Oh, I love progression. Alright, sorry about ranting about progression. I just fucking loved progression. Loved it. But alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. Thanks for watching and listening to me rant about fucking the aisles. Not doing anything, just playing a Giga. Growing for like half an hour. I'll probably be playing on this server and just growing. If you guys like no rules and want to join, go ahead, join this. I don't know any of these people. I have nothing. I just saw this. And so I joined. So I'll be playing on this. Hopefully more people do. So I can actually hunt and play people. Play against people. But that's going to be it. I'll see you guys later.